Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in our city of New Zealand and today we are branching out to a new island. We're going to make the beginnings of an amusement park which I'm really looking forward to and we may even tackle a new transport hub as well. I just thought we'd start off with a lovely view, a nighttime shot of our city looking fantastic and the area that we're going to unlock is this point over here uh, which is looking a bit dark at the moment so let me just click my fingers there we go let's get some light on the matter so we can unlock another square let's jump up into this one so we're going to unlock this one here 14,800 absolutely no problem at all and yeah this is where our amusement park's going to be this little section here so we've got some excellent access to the highway that runs through here that gives us access to this junction that's already pre-built for us with all the roads going off in each direction what is the name of that sort of junction intersection there I, I really like that that's nice um and yeah we've got some nice little spots i like this little beach here with the rocks looking very nice there's another one over here actually i'm not sure we've quite unlocked this one yet no we can't quite get there let's use the camera mod Whoop. there we go but yeah liking that looking good looking good so anyway let us decide what we're going to do over here we're going to look at our park tab and we are going to build an amusement park sort of pier over here so the first thing i really need to do is to put some key wall around this so we've got something nice and flat to build against Okay, so that is our key wall in there. I would like to get this all the same height and preferably the height of this one here. So what we're going to do is zoom out a little bit. We're going to use the move it mods. There we go. We're going to use this option here. Double click on nodes. And now if I drag that out there, that is only going to grab, there we go, the nodes of this and nothing else. And then control H. Can I make all of that the same height as that? I can. That is fantastic. And then we're just going to take this one here. Let's just do that. Hold Alt and just bring that smack bang into that one there. And that should all be the same height. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. And then what I want to do is just flatten out the land that's in the middle here. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, there we go. That gives us a good start to build off of. Now, we need some road access to this area. And let's come across here and have a look. We've got our junction here, as we spoke about. We've got this sort of fast road. So let's grab that one there. Uh, let's turn on that. Let's turn on that. And I want to sort of have that one come alongside this road here. That's a sort of a local road. Let's put on our snapping tools. Nope, let's not put all of them on. We'll turn off road guidelines. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get too close to the road, otherwise it is going to snap. So we're going to bring that one down here. And then at some point, you want that to change into a local road. And this spot here is like the perfect spot for a train station. So can we get underneath here? Oh, yeah, we've got sort of like a nice bridge here that we can go underneath. It's a bit overgrown. And we could also go over the other way under here into this section. So I'm thinking a nice roundabout here would actually work quite well. So let's see what we can do. Let's grab some of these roads. See what sort of space we've got here. Let's go like that. Let's go like that and like that. And then we'll grab the roundabout mods. <gasps> Where's the roundabout mod? No. <gasps> It's got to be here. There it is. The shortcut wasn't working. <laughs> so that is probably a little bit too large. Let's bring that out of the way. Yeah, it's probably a tiny bit too large. Let's make that a little bit smaller. So we're going to go with that. Yep, two lanes. I think that'll be okay. So that means we want this to sort of hook into here. So let's grab that road. We're going to upgrade this one. 
Let's just see if we can get these to join up. Oh dear, got to move the rocks. Hang on a sec. Oh, auto save. Quit sip of tea. Mm. Ah, lovely. Let's uh, hashtag save the rock, save the rock, save the rock. Cool. And then we're just going to run this one through the trees here. And then it's going to disappear underneath, sort of over there. And then we'll just stop that one there. And that'll end up going to somewhere over this side. Excellent. And then I'm going to have to... Ugh. Some of these things here don't act nicely when you're putting roads through them. So let me just sort these out. There we go. That's much better. And then this road that's coming off down here, we're not going to need that one. So we'll get rid of that. And then this one that's coming down here, we are going to use a more... Let's have a look. What sort of size road are we going to use? I think a local road... Mm, I think one of these, actually. Let's go for a slightly bigger one. Can we fit that one under there? Oh, that is too low there. Look. Um, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to change this slightly. Let's use the Move It mod again. We're going to pick that node there and lift it up. And then we're going to use the Move It mod, Control h to set a few of these the same height as that. And I'm hoping... Yeah, that'll be fine. So let's upgrade that. Put some anarchy on. There we go. That one can come under here. Yeah, and then we can monkey around with these a little bit. There we go. And then we can slope this down. So we'll select that node, that node, and that node. And then we use this option here to slope. Very good. And the rest of those is probably okay. We can work on that train line in a bit. Good. So now we've got this road coming through here. Let's just move it back a bit. And then this one can go to a couple of different places um let's just move that out of the way that back a little bit to give us some space so this is going to run through here so i'm just going to put it there just so i know what i'm doing and then also i want it to run off down here as well but this is going to be a smaller road that comes this way so we're going to grab this one with the trees that is going to come off say there yeah, like that. And then that can just... We can follow our nose through here. And that is going to lead us to the amusement park. Okay, so that's a good start for a bit of a junction. Let's just quickly set up this roundabout before we forget to use the traffic manager. Control, shift, left click. We've now got dedicated turning lanes, giveaway signs, all of that good stuff. And I'm also going to put giveaway and control, left click to get dedicated turning lanes there. Excellent. Now I'll just move a couple of these clusters out of the way. Good, 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 good. So let's paint this in. We'll grab our zone. We'll grab our painter park area. And you guys and girls are going to have to come up with some really fantastic tea related, amusement park related, on the end of the pier, points, whatever related name. I'll leave it up to you because you really know what you're doing with all that sort of stuff. Let's just go out like that. Okay. At the minute, it's Empire Park. Um, so where are we going to have our entrance? I think our entrance could just be literally right along the front here. So we're going to change this to two-lane with grass. Yeah, we want a little bit more space because I want to put some parking in here. So if we go up like that, and then we're going to go along like this. Let's turn off our guidelines. There we go. Excellent. That'll be great. And then we'll grab our amusement park main gate. And that can be right in the middle there. And there we go. It's now Mickey Park. Oh, excellent. <laughs> what a great name for an amusement park. And we've unlocked all of these fancy items, which is good. And we're going to have some guy at the front here. There he is. Hugo has decided to have a new job. <laughs> Another one. This is his side hustle. He dresses up as a green alligator and waves at windows. Cool. Okay, excellent. And I've also downloaded, you'll be pleased to hear, some car park assets. Um, we've been making car parks, haven't we? Using the in-game stuff. We've got this car park here. And we've got this car park here. There we go. So I quite like these. I like this one with the trees around it. We've got this little basic one here. But I think, to be honest, for now, we're going to use this one 
And am I going to put two of those in? Let's have a look what that looks like with one either side. Yeah, I think that's okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. And then we're going to start running our little uh, amusement park down here. So when we come in, I do always like the path with the trees. So we're going to get that one there. Now, there's a lot we're going to have to fit in once we get to building this. Uh, let's turn that option off there. There we go. So once we get to building this, there's going to be a lot that we're going to want to fit in. But let's do the best we can. And we want to get it up to the levels as high as possible. Uh, what is this here? Amusement Park Plaza. That is the one I want. So I'm going to pop a couple of those right behind here where you first walk in. So at the minute, we're aiming to have 500 visitors to get to the next level. And to get the entertainment up to... 250 was at 218 at the moment so we can add a few items in and certainly get up to that got this little spot here i'm wondering whether we could fit something in there uh we've got any small amusement park souvenir shop that would be the thing that would be right by the door wouldn't it so let's add that in as well and also we've got the restrooms which i think would be right by the beginning as well let's just pop those where there's not a tree there we go. And what does that take us up to park-wise? 238. That'll probably go up in a minute. And then also, I believe we've got... Let's just scroll through here. I want this. Amusement park ground tiles. Let's put those down to singles. And see if there's a good way just to fill in these gaps and line these things up. Try and do it by hand and see how good it is. Yeah, that's not going to be quite lined up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put those in. Unfortunately, we've got grass sprites coming through. And then I'm going to use the Move It mod to line that up there like that. And then can we do the same over here? Look at that. We haven't even got power and water plugged in yet. And our park fixer uppers whatever they're called are coming here to boost the park and is this our first visitor no it's not our first visitor yet i think this is looking okay coming through the gates there we go we've got amusements on the left chirpy brothers souvenirs and gifts we have amenities on the right something for the kids to play and then we have our little plaza with even more hugo's cousins have popped over to come and play as well so I think that is a good start to Chirpy Land. We need to look at the power and the water. Mickey Park. Uh, so there we go. Look, we're over the amount of entertainment we need. So now it's just getting the visitors. And <laughs> the visitors are already turning up and using the car parks. Are they going to come into Chirpy Land, though? That is the thing. Mm, we'll have to see. I'll tell you what we're going to do to help out. We're going to use some policies. So we're going to do an advertising campaign. Draws 20% more visitors, cost 200 a week. We can afford that one, 2.8 million. We're going to set this as our main park. So they're going to more visitors. Uh, we're not organised fireworks. So we'll, we'll leave it on. Uh, fireworks every night. Yeah, we're definitely going to have that. Uh, night tours, 30% more visitors during night time, cost 50 a week, we're going to have that. Even more fun, boost the entertainment effects. Yeah, we're definitely going to have that. Recycle garbage, that's for nature reserve buildings and the, that one's for the zoo. So we're really going to push this one and we're going to up the price, which uh, conversely enough actually attracts more people. So there we go. So now we need to hook in our water and our electricity because these guys here... They don't have either. So let's just sort that. Oh, for the, for the power, we're so close here to getting something hooking up. I'm just wondering whether if we stuck a shop or something down here, just a few little small shops whether we'd get it whether we'd get it hooking up let's just do let's just do that and see what happens let's speed things up a bit and the power might just jump across there which would be great look at all these cars coming up so many people visiting already no no visitors they're just like using the car park <laughs> that's what it is let's have a look i don't think that's going to quite jump over there how about we just stick in an advanced wind turbine as well there we go. There we go. Why not? I think that fits in okay. 
Excuse, and now they're coming in. Our first visitor, who is it? Edward Hancock. Thank you very much for visiting our park. I'm just going to see if I can get rid of these little sprites that are in here. Bear with me a second. There we go. They've gone. For those that want to know how to do it, I am using the hide it mod. Here we go. Hide it. I've got seagulls turned off because you get millions of seagulls all around every single park. And if we just scroll all the way down, you can turn off your grass decorations. There we go. There's other options in that as well. Yeah, that works really well. Good. Okay, so let's put in some other items as well. I've decided to use the path without the trees. It just seemed to work a little bit better. So let's see what other options we have. Get this thing leveled up. Get some rides in here. Do some cool stuff. So that is just going to come down there like that. And I want that to go down the sides. Just a little bit. I might just use the move it mod just to grab that, that, and that. And just uh, so slow, slightly. <laughs> Not do that. Just move that out just a tiny touch. Excellent. And I think we could have definitely some rides around the back here. So that's going to have to come out to there. And this is going to go down to the end there. This, I don't know where it's going to end up going, but that's going to come down to the end there. Right, what rides could we fit in here, first of all? So we've got our plaza side gates. We've got amusement park. We've got those that we've used. Here we go, the game booths. I like the game booths. So we're going to have that one there. And I like sort of putting these into pairs. Let's just do that a different way. Let's delete that. And have that one there, right up to the corner. And that one there, right up to the corner of that one. Nice. And then we could grab this here and sort of finish off this little spot like that. And then what I'm doing, just for sort of the gap in between, is I'm just using surface tool and using the pavement. And just sort of running that up to the end there like that. I might just take out that last one. There we go. And it just puts that little grey border in as well. Oh, it's so hard to try and get these things to line up perfectly. But I think that's good enough. Then you can always add some trees in as well if you want. And then what about over here? Let's just do the same over here because this is a similar spot, isn't it? Why not? Why not? So let's get this one here. And that one there. And then we'll grab this for here. That really was not in the right spot. <laughs> My finger got all excited and clicked. Oh, that's a tree. Thank you. Thank you, tree. Oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. It's got snapping, even though I'm, I haven't got snapping on. That's a bit weird. But anyway, we'll go with that. And then we'll have a little bit of concrete along there. There we go. I like the way the trees sort of border this as well with the, uh, with the car park. Oh, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. Um, I don't want any high rises sort of along here in this section uh, what i'm gonna do is just gonna put a little small zone on there for now and policies and city planning and high-rise ban yeah just for holly hills just so we don't get these building up too big Got like a farm building there what's oh they're bringing goods oh it's a car wash you gotta have goods in your car wash Wow, so many people are coming to Mickey Park. 141 already. We haven't even got any buses or anything like that. Which reminds me, yeah, we want to help people get over here, don't we? So, how shall we do that? Well, we've got our train over here. So, certainly we could do something with that. So, let's just take a look at this road here. Uh, let's just straighten that out a bit. Let's grab this. I'm just going to draw that in down here. The train station's going to be there for sure so let's grab that and how much room do we need that is almost not quite enough room so let's just grab oh look at the people pouring in the people are pouring in which is great let's grab all of these nodes and we're going to shiftify that down just a little bit like that and that should just about give us enough room and i want that to be sort of here and i'll tell you why because we're going to have something over here in a moment Oh, look at that. That is almost, almost perfect there, isn't it? So all we need to do is just move this down just a spot. There we go. Excellent. Mm, have we got enough room to join that in there? Do you know what? I'm going to just move this along a bit. I'm going to move that along to there. Right, so let's hook this up. 
Let's grab our rail line. Let's have no bending. So if you can do that, that would be nice. That is going to look rubbish. So let's try that again. <laughs> let's go like that. And let's go like that. That isn't far enough along, is it? Hold on one second. Yeah, I think that's more like it. Uh, as we've seen before, we want to make sure we've got enough room on these little runoffs here. So if a train stops there and doesn't enter the station, it's not blocking our main line going through. Let's have a look at our line. So we should have a line that comes in over here. Let's turn that on. We do. Let's just pause a second. So I'm going to grab that line, at that stop, I should say, and bring it all the way over to there. And then we're going to just make sure we've got a stop. Uh, yeah, I'll stop in here and a stop in there, go in the other direction. Excellent. So that's going to bring people in by train. Unless they're not stopping there and they can go straight past. Oh, another auto save. And we've also got a ferry and bus stop over here. Uh, the other bus stops that we've got available are going to be for this island. Uh, I'm not going to have buses go between islands. So over here... Um, I would also say we need a ferry stop. So let's just grab along here, actually. Let's just put one in. Mm, let's just have a look at the size of the island. It's a pretty big island. I'm going to make this... Yeah, I like this one here. The ferry pier. And that can fit in right there. Grab the rock. Grab, get to... There we go. Save the rock. Uh, we're going to pop that right on there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then we're going to just join up this road. Very good. And then we'll just do giveaway signs on each side of that. Uh, I'm also just going to upgrade this little bit here uh, to an asymmetrical road. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? This one here, asymmetrical three-lane road. I think that's the one I want. Just so we've got... Yeah, there we go. Dedicated left and right turn. Dedicated left and right turn. And then we'll also do control left click there for dedicated lanes coming in. Here comes our train. All the people going in. They'll all come out of here in a minute. There they go. And they're walking. They are happy to walk. Let's just see where they're going. Stop. Where are you going? Uh, amusement park restroom going to game booth number two so they are literally happy to walk from there all the way over to here and that tells you something that just shows you how far people are willing to walk how are we doing in mickey park oh lots of people lots of people right let's get our ferry hooked up to here now what i'm thinking with this one is we've got our train coming in this blue line that goes all the way around i want a direct connection straight across there as well and uh, we need to fit in our ferry path so let's just connect that. There we go, like that. And then we're going to run this from here. It's going to go straight across into there and back again. So that is our main hub, hashtag save the rock, that we've got over on this side. And that is literally going to go straight backwards and forwards over there to whatever this area is going to be called. So let's just quickly take a peeky peek at that. So that is going to be ferry line number four. We can't name it just yet. What have we got? Sort of green, red, blue. Uh, let's sort of go pinky purple. There we go. That will do. Oh, how many ships did it have on there? Three. Yeah, that will do. You can always keep an eye on how that's going. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm liking the look of this. I'm liking all the traffic that's coming over and using this. Right, what else could we add onto here? Uh, while we're here, let's take a look. Mm, all sorts of little detailing things. Uh, what other rides do we have? We literally have the carousel, and I think that is it for rides so far. It is. How big's the carousel? Not too big. So if we pop that there, how would that look? sort of on the main drag you've got the plaza and then you've got the carousel i think that looks okay could we move that along a little bit let's see what we can do i want that to be centered in there because what i'm going to do next is grab this and we're going to sort of go up like that 
Okay, let's connect that. I want that to be even. So I'm going to do that, do that. Hold Alt. I'm just going to move. Oh, no, I'm not going to hold Alt. <laughs> I'll do that one and hold Alt. And then I'll do that one and hold Alt. Do them one at a time. It's more likely to line up. There we go. And it gives us that little border around there. What could we pop in here? So let's get amusement park sign. Oh, these are teeny tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny signs. We're going to have one there and one there. I've uh, got amusement park benches. Yeah, let's add in some benches. So we're going to go bench there. Bench there. There we go. And what's this one here? Amusement park table set. Yeah, so let's pop that there and that there. I want a little something in the middle here. We've got street lights. Amusement park sign. So that amusement park sign is going to go this side, actually. We're going to get rid of that. Pop that in. Oh, man, there's all sorts of little things in here. Coin game. Oh, cotton candy cart. Definitely having a cotton candy cart right there. Well, I think we could probably have another one of those over here. We've got any other... That's a coin game. Let's pop a coin game on that corner. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get our little concrete filler inner that we've been doing and just fill that in. And what I like about this is you can go right up to the edge. It doesn't mess with the path at all. Just do that, just for that section. Yep, and then we'll grab some trees. Just something not too big. Yeah, this have been, these have been the sort of trees that we use at the beginning here. So this is going to be the style of tree, I think, for our park. What is that tree? It's the Corsican Pine and the Chinese Windmill Palm. Hmm, fantastic name. There we go. It just adds a little something something to that area. I wonder whether we need something in the middle there. No, that'll be okay. So that's the carousel. I want to put something over here. We want to wait until we get up to the next level. And we're well over the entertainment. So we're going to jump levels. No problem at all. We're making money. So it's just a few visitors. So let's just hang fire till we get some more visitors and unlock some more things. Oh, it barely took a second. Whoop. And there we go. Congratulations. Level 2. Rotating teacups. Oh, yeah. My favourite. And the piggy train. Brilliant. So we can add something over this side. So let's do that. Let's scroll up. Here we go. Carousel. Piggy train. How big is that? That sort of goes that way. And the rotating teacups. That's actually quite small, isn't it? I was hoping we'd get something that sort of size. So I'll tell you what we could do. We could put both of these in here. So if we put that one there and this one over here, like that. Let's just move this tree cluster. There we go. That's not too bad. And we can run our paths a little bit. So I'm going to sort of change this a bit. Let's grab that. That's going to go there. That's fine there. That's fine at a dead end path. So let's grab this one here. That's going to come all the way along to there needs to go a bit further that needs to go a bit further because i want to hook is it going to let me all right i'll do it here then i'm going to go through here Oi, come on like that all right and then i'll use the move it mod to line it up like this like that like this and then what i want to do in here is let's get rid of these trees is that a tree there i think that's part of this i want to adds these plaza pieces uh so we've got oh, that's too big isn't it um i want to add these into here and sort of fill this up uh, there must be some way of doing this with like the line tool but it's like oh immediately i almost completely perfectly line it up and then i mess it up let me see what i can do we go just popped in a couple of little assets from the city park that we've got as well so we've got the cafe and the restrooms just to add a little bit of interest 
uh, get some trees around there as well. Do you know what I really want to add? The bottom of those trees is... Let's have a look, let's have a look. Some of these little clusters. Uh, that's quite big. That doesn't really fit in. What's that one there? Yeah, something like... Something like that. Yeah, sort of make it makes it look like they're in a in a pot or something. So yeah, let me just add those in. You know what I mean? Tree in a pot. <laughs> Tree in a pot dot com. Keep your eyes open for my new merch coming to you soon. Look at this place. It is humming. I am loving it. Uh, what is the amount of people that we've got here now? 904 out of 2,500 we need to get to the next level. Our entertainment is certainly there. No problem at all with that. People are using the car parks. Got a bit of a trash problem. How's the traffic? No problem at all. Oh, these haven't got water and stuff. Well, that ain't going to help, is it? Let's just add some water in over here for these guys. Now, while we're waiting for this to reach two and a half thousand visitors, uh, we do have a great big need for industry or offices. So I was just thinking of making this little section over here just a small little office area. So let's just grab some of our roads, uh, see what we can do here. We could squeeze something in that can make good use of this space which is probably going to be harder than I thought. I was hoping just to back it right... Ah, oh, there we go. That is what I want to do. Like that, without destroying anything. How far over could I move that? Let's choose the move it more. That can go right up to the end. Uh, let's just move these clusters out of the way. Yeah, that should be fine. And just some normal bog-standard offices are going to fill that space there. Maybe this one here, this one down here. Yeah, why not? I have all these ones as well. And maybe even these couple of ones here. Yeah, why not? Let's see what we get. Yeah, probably going to change that. So we've got our little district here. Let's expand that district to take in all of these. That's Holly Hill still, and we're going to go to themes, and what office ones do I normally like? Um, let's have a look. Themes, international, yes. So let's grab that. Themes, and enable, and international, and that should hopefully not mess up all the shops as well. And then just along here by the pier, we're just going to add a few little services. So I think we might be able to fit in uh, one of these, a medical clinic, and then a fire station. Can I fit in the small one? Just about. There we go. We'll worry about the police and stuff later. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So I think that's going to help growth in this area as well. Look at them all upgrading. They're loving it. They absolutely love this little spot. As soon as I put these in, they've all upgraded themselves to the level two. And I don't think it'll be very long before they get to level three. Some of them already are, which is brilliant. I think that looks okay. Just a few little high rises there. Looking over our absolutely bustling chirpy land. I mean, we could rename this whole thing, you know. So if you've got any fantastic names, I'm desperate to hear what we could call all of this and then yeah we'll rename it shame we can't change the sign but there we go aha there we go mickey park has reached level three we get the swinging boat the house of horrors and the bumper cars and i've just popped a police station in you can see and hopefully here everybody's upgrading there we go you're upgrading you're upgrading look at that all the little green arrows i love it i love it okay so let's see how we can fit these items in Man, we've got so much space here. We've got more space than I thought. So we do have still quite a few of the larger items to unlock. Or we can't even click on them yet. So bumper cars, not too small. House of Horrors and the swinging boat. Yeah, they're not too bad, are they? So I'm just thinking maybe we'll have another little plaza. Let's see if we can put something over here nearer to the water's edge. I think that'll be good. So 
let's turn that off and let's use the move it mod actually to move that right up to the end and we'll do the same there get it as close as we can and then i want to join those two up is that a straight line no it's not so if we do it like this i mean i could just delete all these trees first couldn't i let's get rid of all of those there we go and then let's just join this up there we go. Give us a nice little area that looks slightly a little bit different. And then what have we got? We have got the swinging boat. I'm trying to think what's going to fit in here. I think this one could be quite good. I like the spinning pumpkin head <laughs> on top. <laughs> there we go. And then bumper cars can have its own little section over here. So that's going to connect to this. Is that going to connect over there as well? No. So we're going to have the bumper cars in here. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Bumper cars. It's going to be off that one. And then we've got the swinging boat. I think I want that in here as well. Both sort of next to each other. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Let's just detail these up a little bit. And it's been a long time coming, but we are going to actually place a rock. I know, I know. It's been like, whoops, it's been something that we always did in our last cities. So we've gone from hashtag save the rock to hashtag place the rock. I just feel this little spot here could do with a couple of rocks at the back here. Let's just pick a different one for that side. I'm going to go like that and like that. Yeah, nice. So people can walk in there. They can walk in through the front here. They can enjoy playing amongst the trees. They can enjoy... Look at the queues. Look at the queues. Absolutely brilliant. Everybody's loving this area. I think it's looking pretty swish myself. What are we up to? Let's take a look. Entertainment through the roof. Almost at the next level. Level four. Oh, level four. Drop tower ride and pendulum ride which is great you've just caught me in the middle of putting a nice path i think i'm going to run this all along this key wall over here so people want to take walks and enjoy the views across to our city over there hustling bustling city they can so let's have a look at these ones what have we got so we've got the drop ride tower that is looking pretty big i like that one and the pendulum ride, which is nice. Uh, yeah, bumper cars. You know, I put, accidentally put two bumper cars here, but we switched that up. So that's good. Um, so, I mean, I do want... We've got the Ferris wheel, which is pretty big. And we've got the roller coaster. I want those over at the end there. So maybe this drop ride tower would be quite good here. Because that would give us a good view of the whole park. So let's pop that one in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is going to give you a view of the entire city. Oh, that would just be... That would just be fantastic. Imagine doing that at night as well. Let's just change our... Whoops, no, let's do that. Imagine doing that at night and the views that you would get of the city and the fireworks going off as well. Oh, look at that. That would just be... And then across here as well in the main part of the city you can see that in the distance yeah that looks good i like that i like it a lot so let's change it back to some sunny times there we go um so we can do some detailing around there and then we've also got the pendulum ride and i wanted that maybe along the water here uh maybe just sort of there i think that would be good yeah, nice. And then we can put some paths and things around there. Let's just maybe straighten this one up 
a little bit for right in front of here. Uh, 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 yeah, almost. That'll do. Good, good. So let's see what we can come up with. And finally, we're now up to level five with the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel. Uh, so we're going to do that in a minute. I was just placing some trees around the edge here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I was just wondering what they would look like if we had some nice trees along the key wall and the path. Let's just do them up to the end. Yeah, that'll do. Well, I think that looks nice, doesn't it? it sort of sets it off. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. I shall carry that on around there in a bit. So, we've got this space left here. I've done a little bit of detailing, as you saw, on our swingy-swingy thing and our uppy-downy thing. So, that's looking good. So let's see how big our last two items are. Scroll, scroll, and here we go. So, we have the roller coaster. Oh, look at that. I'm so pleased that I've got enough space <laughs> to fit these in. And the Ferris wheel. Nice. Um, what do you reckon? I reckon the roller coaster can go right on the end over here. Let's turn that off and do that again so we can see what we're doing. So this bit over here, I think, would be the perfect spot. So if we do that and we save that rock first. That rock is my favourite rock. He's going to go all the way down there. And that is going to go as far up into this little bit as we can. Like that. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. It's whizzing around so quick. Nice. Okay, we'll do a bit of detailing on that as well. And then our Ferris wheel is going to have its own little section in here. Let's grab some paths. So I've gone from sort of the gridded paths here to a bit more winky wonky the further along that we've got and i think it's worked out quite nice so we're going to have that one go like that and where's our ferris wheel there it is that is pretty that is pretty cool i want that against the side here as well i'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to grab this path here we're just going to do something we're going to go up along and down and then we're going to grab our ferris wheel and pop that in its own little spot like that and then I'm going to do some detailing around those. It needs electricity. Um, really? Can't that jump across? It can now. There we go. You can't be complaining anymore. Nice, nice, nice. So what do you think of our peer build today? Let me know in the comments. Let me know some names as well. We've got to name this uh, maybe in the next episode. Hopefully we get some cool names coming in. Let's see how much money Mickey Park is making for us. Wow, more than double what it's costing to run. That is absolutely brilliant. That is pushing our bank balance up over 4 million. Wow, I am absolutely loving this. Let's enjoy a view of the city. And thank you very much for watching.
Watch the next video on the screen. Subscribe if you haven't already. And whatever you do, have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.